Greetings, my dear student. We will start electric current. We'll talk about conductors and insulators. What's the difference between them? We'll even discuss some of the conductors and electrical insulators. We will discuss also in the power lines, how they are separated from the pool with large uh, ceramic insulators. Then we will discuss metals. What is the meaning of a metal? You already know metal from chemistry that we have delocalized electrons, how they are oriented, where do we find them, how they are used in electricity. We will also discuss cold welding, which is the process of joining two metals together without heat. And this is how they fix problems in space. When two metals come in contact in the vacuum of space, they can chemically bond together. Then we will talk about the electric field along a wire. What is meant by drift velocity? Then we come to the most important thing. Current is the rate at which water passes through an area of a stream is called current. Similarly, electric current is the rate at which charge passes through an area of wire. The unit for electric current is the ampere where one column per second. It's equal to delta Q over delta T, which is change in charge over change in time. We resemble the electric current with the flow of water or water hose. Then we will discuss conductivity and resistivity, which is a, an intensive property, such as the density of electrons is a property that does not change with scale extensive properties such as the length of a wire is a property that does change with scale and then we will define resistivity and what is resistance then we'll say that electrical resistance is equal to rho which represents the resistivity which is a property of matter times the length of wire over the area of cross section and then we will apply this rule in solving some questions. Moreover, we will discuss Ohm's law, which state that the electric field is equal to the resistivity times the current density, which is equal to I over A. And then we will analyze and interpret data since it's a linear relationship. Then a very interesting topic, which is series and parallel resistance. We will learn how to calculate the equivalent resistance for the series and parallel resistance. I promise you, you will enjoy this topic a lot. Have a good day, everybody.